Hi, welcome to the channel. Budget audio review and upgrades. Today we're reviewing these diamond free speakers by Wolfgang. Not very big, but let's see what I think about them. Now these were recommended by Ditton Works, a bloke called Kevin at Ditton Works. Link below. Well worth a visit. I can't stress it enough. Go over there and have a little look about what he's got there. He deals in higher market stuff for me. A bit of this is a budget channel. He deals in higher stuff, but you can you think, well, I'm not interested in the higher stuff. It's too expensive for me, but you're going to get some great tips there. What to look out for speakers. You know, things you can go along, just give me a little tap and all that kind of stuff. I won't spoil it. Just go over there and have a little look and you're going to pick up some tips there and repairs, etc. A wealth of knowledge, an absolute wealth of knowledge. Knows a lot, lot about speakers. Well worth a visit and subscribe. And let's get him up there and about to give people like that information. Okay, now these are recommended by uh, Ditton Works. Like I say, and they're not very expensive. You pick up a pair about these for about 30 to 50 pounds, something like that. So it's absolutely ideal for this channel. Nine and a half inches high seven and a half inches in width seven and a half inches in depth now these are rated at 86 db 100 watts just a small unit but still rated at 100 watts a 19 millimeter dome tweeter there and a 110 millimeter uh driver at the bottom so as normal i take these apart let's have a look what's inside right normal kind of setup with the channel we're going to stick the speaker on the floor and have a little look at it so there it is on the floor and we're going to take both drivers out and as you can see there's the uh, cabinet with the wadding inside now here's the tweeter, this is the back of the tweeter, there's the markings on the back of the tweeter, the number should I say, and there's the front. And this has been used, this tweeter, in quite a, a number of uh, Wolfdale uh, speakers of that kind of era, the, the Deltas being one of them. We have a look at the driver, there's a the driver, and it's, you know, it's only a small little driver, but it's got quite a big magnet stuck on the back, and these speakers are rated 100 watts, and there's the markings on the back of the driver. And if we take a pan out view of the drivers, and the wadding and the actual speaker unit and last thing we'll just have a little look at the crossover as you can see the crossover there three capacitors one coal and one resistor so that's the makeup of the speaker okay so how did it actually sound don't forget these come recommended by dit and works now i'm not going to say they sound fantastic when they don't i mean it's my opinion his opinion everyone's got different opinions i'm going to tell you as it is it's no reflection to uh, what he thinks about them at all but i liked them i've got to admit i did like these I want to start straight away and say the ideal probably position to have these in, you know, where you are. I would say two to three metres away. That would be the ideal position, right? Bang centre on these, two to three metres away. You've got to get some fantastic sounds and space. You've got to get some instrument placement. Everything's going to sound nice. It's going to sound magical. It's going to sparkle. It's going to really sound nice. They weren't too bad down the other end of the room, like this is a long room, seven metres. But kind of give the impression that I've got a small box down the other end of the room. Still sounded okay, but you wasn't kind of getting that magical sound that you're going to get in that near field. Don't forget these are quite small. Even though they give a, a sound out slightly bigger than you think they actually are kind of thing. But they do lack a bit of bass. You know, don't forget these are small units, lack a little bit of bass. But obviously you can move these backwards and forwards near the room, in the corners, etc. to try and get a bit more out of them, which it did. You know, it definitely works. But at the end of the day, if you're really into thudding bass and all that kind of stuff, and you're not going to get it out of a small speaker. And these are not the speakers for you but if you want a really clean you know really detailed sound these do give it you know what i mean he's got a lot of detail very clean a nice open sound my preferred position was on these stands i loved it went about two meters two and a half meters away sat down listened to a load of stuff like really got into a bit of jazz recently like uh, after seeing it and works picked up a jazz cd somewhere it is um, yes, yeah, so I've been listening to a bit of jazz, not that I usually listen to that, like, so I'm just getting into it now and I'm enjoying myself with that as well. So I thank Ditton's works for that because I won't even enter my head to be honest with you. Um, fantastic, you know, trumpets, trombone, all that kind of stuff. It's sounding fantastic, like saxophone, all that kind of stuff. Sounding really nice on here, strings, everything sounding nice, you know, going around the drums, etc. Sounding nice, not going to get that thud, like I say. Not going to get a deep bass, but the bass that's there is nice, it's controlled, it's clear. Mid range was really nice, really, really nice. The mid range, man and female, and the top end. This goes quite high this year, it doesn't overdo it. It sounds nice, it sounds detailed, it sounds clean, and it sounds clear. So, I mean, this tweeter here is used by a lot of Wolfdale speakers uh, at the time. I think quite a lot of speakers uh, use this tweeter, so like they must have thought it's fairly good to put it in, you know, quite a range of speakers, so to speak. And the combination here of the unit, the box, the, the uh, crossover, etc., just really gives a nice sounding speaker. On the stands, my preferred position. Obviously, you can have them on the table, but on the stands, 
two and a half meters away I was getting that like nice musical sound very detailed instrument placements nice air, quite hairy kind of sound had quite a bit of depth to it as well I was enjoying myself you know what I mean it sounded really really nice getting that sparkle all in all very enjoyable very enjoyable speakers so so much so like I said I'm gonna get myself another pair dismantle these and probably sell these as spare parts or keep them as spares myself or whatever but um, Kevin at Ditton Works did did uh, you know send me a text I think saying if I wanted to get these tuned up really really well and he knows his stuff down there bring them over and they'll do them for me now I probably will take him up on that offer but not with these speakers because like I say they're in a bit of a rough shape they've seen better days probably to be honest with you so when I get myself a decent pair I think I'm going to head over there and uh, sort that out because I think these are going to make an ideal like when I when we move etc if I've got a little small space nothing too big he's not going to be putting me in a great big living room or anything like that but when I'm sitting a couple of meters away bedroom or small space of mine these are going to be you no know, take out hardly any room going to sound fantastic I'm really going to get some enjoyment for a cheap set of speakers you know you get yourself a cheap amplifier cheap CD player something like that you know a good one at that obviously and team these up with this you, you, for, for little little money you're going to get a really nice sound don't forget these are, these are low money like this kind of you know putting these items together it's low money you're going to get a nice sound but just you know before you run out and buy a pair just be wary they're small, you're not gonna get a lot of bottom end out of them. Just just be wary of that. So if you're that kind of person, you're gonna go, oh, there's not a lot of it, you know, not a lot of bass in here. Like I'm, you know, I'm, but you know, don't forget how big they are. I really I can really <coughs> I beg your pardon. I really highly recommend these. I really do, they're really nice. Okay, so that's it. I say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.